let's talk about how close we are to shore because I thought we looked pretty darn close. Rosie, how close is the stern of Sea Venture to the rocks? 63 yards. 180 190 feet. feet? 190 feet, yep. 190 feet away. And how do we know we're 190 feet away from the rocks, Rosie? We have a cool toy. It's a little rangefinder, and we use it all the time, to be very honest, just to make sure we're kind of in the center of a bay or we're not too close to shore. And inevitably, we're always way too far away from anything or other boats, you know, if we're not too close to other boats. So, what's a rangefinder normally used for? Golfing. This one, golfing. Also, I think hunting. Oh, and hunting. I think that's I true. think yeah. both. Yep. Rangefinder. You point it and it tells you how far you are from something. Because we know on a boat, you are always further away than you think. You always think you're just so much closer. Yeah. So it helps. So, rangefinder, one of those great things to have on board your boat. That sounds like an ad. Yeah, let's not go there. Okay. But it's handy. Yeah. It's, um, I would have one. Yes. We film do. your cat. Turn around and film your cat. Get off the pole. We're heading off in the tender. We're going on an excursion to check out the neighborhood. Yep. It's beautiful. Check out the weather. Yeah, everywhere is beautiful. It's gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> We've cruised through the, short, uh, the narrow entrance into the inner bay. We didn't come in last night because the tide was low and we weren't really sure about it, so. <laughs> but check this out, this is beautiful in here. And this is Block Island, which really just blocks the head of the bay from the rest of the bay and provides the protection back here. Can I turn around? There we go. And we're back to Jim. So we've gone around to the other side of Block Island from where we came in. And looking at this side, the entrance, the NOAA chart actually shows this side is more open and deeper than the other side. But Lefko's uh, guidebook, which has just been invaluable, said there's a reason nobody goes this way. Come over and take a look. We can't even get the tender through there at this tide. No. We left the tender, chatted with some folks, and now we are working our way to a lake. Very short journey. This was a strenuous walk. Yeah. It's pretty cool though. It's a freshwater lake and it looks like it's a couple feet higher than the Tidal uh, flow right now. We visited several anchorages in the northern portion of Prince William Sound. The first anchorage, Cedar Bay, was beautiful, but the wind kept whipping around from different directions and made it feel uncomfortable. Then we went on to here. Granite Bay, where the wind was literally blowing 25 or 30 knots while we were contemplating anchoring. Again, beautiful, but decided not to go there at the anchoring spot shown on the chart here. The water depth, while charted at 13 feet, seemed to either be 70 
or 8 feet. Then we went on to Eckenberg Bay, where we found a great anchorage for the night. We're cruising up Valdez Arm, and this is our approach to Sawmill Cove. It is recording, right? I'm playing it. Yeah. Okay, that was just Three bizarre. Of them. There's two here and one over here, right? Yeah. Yeah. That guy over there is landing in a tree. And these two here are just above us in the sun, so and up higher. It's blinding me looking that way. Yeah. We're anchored here in Sawmill Bay. It's about 9.30 at night. Another spectacular anchorage in Prince William Sound. What makes this anchorage even cooler here this evening? This gorgeous anchorage is just 14 nautical miles from Valdez, where we're headed in the morning. We're getting an early start this morning and heading out to Valdez. It looks like it's going to be a gorgeous day. Six a.m. The early morning view. Headed out of Sawmill Cove to Valdez. Are heading to Valdez. Blake, stop that. <laughs> this is uh, the walkway at the New Harbor in Valdez. Here's the view from the head of the dock. The weird thing is we walked from the harbor overland to get to the other harbor. I want to take a moment to apologize for some of the Valdez footage. We used a GoPro for most of it, and we just weren't very happy with how it came out. The main strip in downtown Valdez. It has the look of the ramp that you hike on to go to, or you walk on to go on an airplane. Oh. So anyway. Gotta be the nicest boat ramp or marina ramps I've seen. Beautiful aluminum structures with sidewalls, canvas sidewalls. Here in Valdez, absolutely gorgeous, sunny, beautiful day. Looking in town and saw that on average in the winter it snows six feet a month here. A foot and a half a week for two or three months uh, non-stop. Would be brutal here in the winter, I think. Yeah. But gorgeous today. Look, Sea Venture and Igloo together again. Maybe one of the best ways to judge how good the fishing might be is to check out the Valdez Fish Cleaning Station, where 
a dozen or so people can be cleaning their fish at the same time with beautiful cutting boards, each with their own sprayer hose. It's just a fantastic setup. The fish guts then go into a trough that goes down a chute into a catch basin in the water. That chute created an opportunity for birds to have their feast as well. Even an eagle got in on the action. It is 10 p.m. This is the entrance to Valdez, Alaska from the highway system. Once again, the cats escape. They love visiting docks, so we just embrace the inevitable and make sure they don't fall in the water or wander off. How are you, big guy? the corner of the old harbor, the back corner, with the town in the distance. And if you cross the road, there is the path to the new harbor. So oddly, you have to cross the road to get to yet another harbor. Old harbor, new harbor. Okay, one more trip into town. The clouds have moved in, the blue sky has left us, and uh, we are off to the grocery store with our trusty little wagon. And it's suddenly blowing like 20 knots. <laughs> yes. Oh well. There you go. Here's the Valdez Convention and Civic Center in front of us and across the waterway is the terminus of the Alaska Pipeline. Looking out from this part of the outlook, we can see kind of way over there the roof lines and homes of Valdez. All metal roofs to shed snow. What a spectacular place to live in the summer. Not so sure about the other 10 months of the year. Thank you for watching this episode as we leave Valdez, continuing our exploration of Prince William Sound. There's still so much more to see in Alaska before we begin our journey southward. But until next time, wishing you no wind and flat seas.